Solomon's Diary Show is live in Enugu State. There are lots of people, millions of people in Enugu State that are celebrating the love union between Chief Pete Edoche and Barista Mrs. Josephine Edoche. <laughs> I got your money. I got your money. I got your money. I got your money. I got your you can stand up wherever you are. The Jose Ramale Nugu, His Excellency. Welcome, Rabu. because that person is not here. You know, if the cinema had the opportunity to be on the mic now, you will ask you one question, and this is what you will hear. He has parable, just like our government. So, he always uses parable. You say, are you happy to celebrate your 50th uh, wedding anniversary? You hear something like this. When the Iroko tree begins to get taller and taller. You know that it's about to be cut down. Because the water that drops on the antelope bank does not watch out his pot, but it makes it clear. Then you are not at I know, I know you would have been here but for some certain reason. If we have the likes of Olu Jacobs to be here this afternoon, and then you have him talk on the microphone, you say, um, Sir, what do you have to say about our celebrant? This is what you hear. Chief. Is my friend, my own friend. <laughs> and as my friend, I think it is very good to be here. Because we are just two, just two of us. Only two of us doing very well at this age. And so when I see him celebrate, I also celebrate because it's been a long time coming. <laughs> How significant is today's um, 53rd wedding anniversary to you? Okay, this is super, super significant. And I'll tell you why. There's something we've been learning over the years that when your parents are alive, if you're grateful for everything they've done for you, especially if you have good parents, thank them when they're alive. Not when they are dead. You go and go buy caskets, two million, and spend all that money, but they are dead and they're on the ground. Thank them when they're alive, and that is, this is what it's about. We want to thank them 
my father is 75, my mom is 80. This is at the age where, you know, they begin to check out bit by bit. Nobody lives forever. So, and this reminds me, when my grandmother was alive, my mother's mother, she wanted to do something like this for her. And there was a bit of a delay because of organization, you know, family. It's difficult to get people to agree on one thing and how it's going to be done. Eventually, we told our mother, look, go ahead, you and I, we'll back you. You know, so we took care of it. And they threw something, not as big as this, but it was wonderful. Afterwards, my grandmother called me, thanked us. Less than two months later, she was gone. It's almost like she was waiting for this. Now, I think my parents have to live at least, maybe I'm not 20 years age, because they are not going anywhere after this, but you get the idea. Whenever, if you feel like your parents have done enough for you to be able to say thank you, whatever it is you want to thank them with, even if it's a phone call, tell them thank you dad, thank you mom, it's very, very important. Don't, don't sit on it, don't, don't wait. So that's what this is about, really. They've been fantastic parents, and I can tell you a million stories, but just they've been fantastic parents. I'm very down to earth, very practical. We're very grateful to have them as parents. I'm so glad to be here. Uh, there's no time this Oga Nayem with the column. He's a mentor. There's no time we'll call. We, he has an event that you will not see us come because he has helped a lot of us in the industry. He's like a father to me. He's like a mentor to me. He's like somebody I look up to even when I came into the industry. And when I want to do things sometimes, some people want to look at me as if I'm like him. So I appreciate God for that because he's a fantastic human being. You know, when we talk about him, he cannot end. When you're on set with him, he gets you close. He appreciates everybody, whether you are small or big. And you know, sometimes he goes out of his way to do one or two things for us while we're on set. We're here today to celebrate an icon. An icon of uh, great repute. He's celebrating with a beautiful wife, 53 wedding anniversary of living together, loving each other, and um, to also thank God for a wonderful family. As you can see, beautiful kids, all grown up, all well settled. So today is more or less like uh, a very happy period. You know, thanking God for his uh, life. He has been a great icon on the screens of Nigeria television for a long time, and he's still there. And we we'll pray for him to continue to grow in good health, as his aging to age gracefully in good health, and basically that's what we're here to do today. I am meeting the wife for the first time in my life. Apparently, it is because that is the reason why they are celebrating with the third year anniversary today. But if they have been an active still like the husband, following the husband Papa to Papa, maybe by now we wouldn't have been there celebrating what we are celebrating today. So, Paris Sam is in the street. We thank God for you, we congratulate you, we congratulate you for your family, the good family you have, their grandchildren are around you, they are always around you. That's the most important thing in life. We are married to your husband, it's not for us to be seeing you here and here. To keep doing what you are doing, keep doing what you know how to do best. How does it feel for you to be here today? Celebrating my father is a very wonderful thing. I'm so happy seeing this day and I'm praying that my own husband will be like their own perfect marriage, blessed in all ramifications. I'm so happy to be here. But did you see them? Yeah, of course. How wonderful they look, how blessed, marvelous, beautiful, awesome. So I'm happy to be here. Oh, <laughs> she's, she's blushing. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, what is your relationship with the couple? Uh, uncle is like a father to us. You know, we've lost our daddy so many years. So since we came to the industry, he has been like a father, a mentor. He has been everything to us. Okay, All right, that's fine. So what can you say to the couple today? My prayer is that God should bless them. You no, know, Bible said that the child will die at 100. You know, my prayer is that they will live above 120 and still be strong in love, in peace, in everything. I pray that the Lord bless them. You know, you can see them how peaceful they are. Let, the Lord, let that peace continue. Let that love continue forever and ever in Jesus' name. Amen. This is a defining moment of 
of my life. And I am highly honored by the presence of His Excellency here. And this is an occasion I'd like to make a memory of. Most of the people who have had the opportunity of capturing His Excellency and I locations always keep those photographs and I don't know why. In my house, there were Mfutomun Azik, there were Mfutomun Abbasanjo, there were Mfutomun Ajinwaji, there were Mfutomun Ajari Rawlings. But even Dini Ina Amkola the dearest person to me, At the mention of the name J E S U, I will S. Put your hands together. We know that. Um, Chief Peter Doche and Barrister Mrs. Uh, Josephine Doche are celebrating 53rd wedding anniversary. What does this mean to you? Everything. Everything. My parents are the most modest human beings I've ever seen. So I said, if we leave them like that in their modesty, no, 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 no. Let's celebrate them. It's not when somebody dies, you start throwing away millions. Uh -huh. Let them be celebrated while they are alive. That's a secret. I'm happy to be here. And the main reason why I'm here to celebrate with them is that Peter Doche is a custodian of um, Igbo culture. He loves Igbo culture. And I've had um, the opportunity to interact with him in different um, forums when it comes to culture. Because I used to be the commissioner for culture and tourism in Enugu State. So I enjoy it when I watch him promote the Igbo um, culture and tradition.
Thank you. 